I'm a distro hopper. I have been since I started using Linux, and I know that there are a lot of you out there that are kind of like me. You see another distro out there. It looks amazing. It looks beautiful, and the package manager sounds really cool, and, and the developers are really responsive, and it just looks like the perfect distro. But the distro that you're on, the one that you have already installed, is working fine. There are no problems, you have all of your applications installed, you've riced your desktop environment or your window manager, and everything is just working so good, but oh man, that distro that you just spotted on DistroWatch looks so nice, it's just, it, it will solve that just one little problem that I have with the thing that I have on my system now, and it's going to work just amazingly well. So I'm going to nuke and pave. I'm going to download that ISO. I'm going to put it on a USB key, and I'm going to install it over top of my current setup, and it's going to be amazing. Everything's going to work just fine. And then you do it. And you realize that... Maybe what I had wasn't so bad. Now, I have been a long-term proponent of distro hopping. I think that if you have just switched to Linux, distro hopping is the most important thing you can do simply because it allows you to try out new distros, you discover new package managers, ways of doing things, new desktop environments, different communities. You get to figure out and learn new things every time you distro hop and you get really good at installing Linux and fixing problems. Those are all things that kind of come along with switching distros over and over again. But for the long-term Linux user who still has a distro hopping, I'm going to say problem, like me, sometimes you have to remember that the grass is not always greener on the other side. And that means always keeping a broader perspective on how your computer is actually running the way it is right now. Right now, I'm running Fedora. I have been running Fedora now for running on five months or so. Quite a while. Since summertime. And I love Fedora. I've become a Fedora fanboy. But every once in a while, it doesn't matter how good my Fedora install is running, every once in a while, I see a distribution out there that I just I have to try. And there's a part of me that doesn't think a VM is good enough. There's another part of me that thinks that, well, if I install it on a second hard drive, which I do have, it's not going to be the same. I'm not going to log into it. I'm just going to log into the thing that I know is already set up, has all my applications, and I'll just ignore that this other thing exists. So I'm going to nuke and pave. I'm going to do this thing. And this happens to me way more than it should and I have to stop I have to just take a, a moment to realize that that impulse to look at something and think that it could possibly be better isn't necessarily always going to be the case in fact it hardly ever is going to be the case if you're on a system that is running really really well chances are the thing that has caught your eye isn't going to be any better it may be just as good but it's also 50 50 chance that it's going to be worse way worse you know maybe the wi-fi or networking isn't going to work or maybe you're going to have horrendous screen tearing or maybe your screens won't turn off and your computer won't go to sleep you know any number of problems or you'll get into a boot loop or grub won't load or whatever you know it's possible any of those things could happen it doesn't mean that that distro that has caught your eye is terrible it just means that maybe it doesn't work well on your hard drive so when you're considering distro hopping especially if you've been using Linux for a long time and you have discovered a distribution that works really well for you, don't be so quick to leave it behind. That's a lesson that I'm still learning to this day and I wanted to talk about it today simply because I think that there are quite a few people out there that are just like me in that regard and they're always looking for the next best thing. It doesn't usually exist. It doesn't mean that it's not out there, but it's really unlikely that the brand new shiny distro is going to be anything better than what you have right now. And like I said, there's a good chance that it's going to be worse. So just a very, very quick video today just to let you all know that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. If you have comments on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. 
You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast, just like all these fine people. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.